Hello again everyone. I am back again with another haul. This is a haul from a vintage market that I went to with um, my mom. And then I also have a few thrift store items and um, I'll get this cleared out and I'll start going through everything. All right, I'm going to start with these two items. Um, it's a set of salt and pepper shakers. They're, the brand is Blue Sky, and they're green apple salt and pepper shakers. And um, they're almost actual size. You know, they could be like a small green apple. This one has a bite out of it. They're in good condition. No chips or cracks. I just thought these were really, really pretty. I like the color. It's like a nice lime green, green apple color. A little bit of red, pinkish red here stems are painted brown and then they have um you know these striped leaves and they have the original stoppers and so i did go ahead and list these these have been out in my shop for i don't know maybe about three or four days now and i think i have 18 on these but um They'll go down um, the longer that I have them out there, or um, I do have a sale, 20% off sale going on on selected items on my store. So these might end up going on sale um, a little bit down the road, but just thought these were really pretty. And those came from the local thrift store and then this item this is a Hummel and um, this is going to be a gift for my dad he's started to collect Hummels I think um, my mom decided <laughs> that he was going to collect Hummels but this says prayer before battle yeah, it's got the global mark, West Germany, and I did pay five for this. Um, this was at a local antique shop. Um, my mom and I hit up a, a vintage market. Mm, I don't think it was last weekend, no. Um, I think it was the weekend before that, because I think it was the weekend before Thanksgiving. And, um, and then we went to the thrift store and um, a couple antique shops in town. Um, but this was really cute. And my mom picked it up. She spotted it first. And I was like, oh, that's adorable. And she set it back down. And I said, well, if you're not going to get it, I said, I'd like to get it for, for dad. So pick this one up. I don't see any chips, cracks, or repairs, so this will be part of his Christmas present. I usually like to get these when they have their original box, but um, I made an exception for this one because he's so adorable. And then I did find this Um, it's, it's a glass angel ornament. I was thinking it was spun glass, but I don't really think it's spun glass. I think it's just more of, um, blown and pressed, but she's really cute. I mean, she's probably only an inch or two 
holding a harp and she has um, this white into blue ombre dress um, clear wings gold halo gold harp and then some gold trim on her wings and this I paid 75 cents and um, this I was thinking I might gift to mom because she has a little bit of an angel collection going on um, but I might look it up and see you know if these sell for 10 to 12 I might list it but it's really small so I don't think it's going to be worth that much and it might just be better better for a gift and then I did find um, this is a set of tarot cards and they're called Morgan's Tarot um, I this was I found a bag with some more items from Hawaii and this was a set of cards that I picked up in Hawaii I paid $2.99 for these um, I'm gonna have a fun time getting this sticker off but these are I think vintage I think these are from the 70s yeah okay so copyright 1970 and then 1983 so these are from the early 80s um, but when I looked these up these were selling for like 50 or 60 dollars I think so um, mine appears to be complete with the instructions so you know the box is a little bit dinged up and worn but the cards are in really good shape and um, I'll probably get these listed here um, in a few days but I was just really surprised at the price that these were selling for um, and then at the vintage market so once I found those and looked up the price in Hawaii I saw these at the vintage market and I picked these up um, but I opened these up today and I realized that they do not have an instruction sheet or instruction card in them you can look it up online um, and so I might print that out and include that with this box but these actually sell currently on Amazon and they're only selling for like 15 to 18 dollars so um, I don't know I'll see how many are listed on eBay and if there's quite a few out there I might just keep these for a while and I did try both of them out um, they're really interesting um, got different feedback from both sets and um, just interesting to kind of read about online um, this is a wooden mouse brooch this is I thought this is really strange but it is um, it's vintage it's made in Japan it's still in the package it doesn't look like anybody ever opened this and wore this but this is called the little miss mouse brooch handmade and it's kind of hard to see because this package is really old but um, it is wood and I think it has leather ears and a leather tail and then you can see in the picture these girls are wearing this little mouse brooch it's also marked Japan down there so I did a little bit of research and these I think were popular in the 50s and 60s um, and there's a story behind it but I can't um, remember why or, or what what the deal was with it so um, I might go back and look it up again and just include it at the end of this video but I just thought that was kind of a weird item to have a pin or a brooch made out of a mouse um, you know because you always kind of think of them as little rodents <laughs> um, and then this item I got this at the thrift store this was three dollars and it's a little black cat with the witch hat and a pumpkin and this is blossom 
Bucket Incorporated, North Lawrence, Ohio. Um, yeah, it's made in China, but marked three ninety nine, and I did pay three dollars for this. I don't have a lot of Halloween pins, so I kind of picked this up for me, thinking I would wear it at Halloween, and I obviously had it um, in a bag until now, so I missed out on wearing this. So I'll just look it up and see um, if I can get it sold. Otherwise, um, if it doesn't sell or it doesn't go for a lot of money, then it'll just be mine and I'll just stick it in my jewelry box. Um, okay, and then I got this. Anytime I see nativity items at the thrift store or you know for a decent price I do pick them up um, I got lucky once and I found some Fontanini they were plastic pieces but they were in really good shape um, okay so this one's marked Japan um, but her paint is still really vibrant and she still has her nose it's not all chipped off and doesn't look like there's any you know major cracks or repairs there is wear to the paint and then i did get baby jesus in his crash and he does have a few little few little dings to his toes and his fingers, um, <laughs> little baby butt. Um, but otherwise, he's in he's in good condition, and you know here he is with his, you know, baby with the with the crash included, and this one is not marked that I can see, but the coloring I'm assuming is similar so I think these went together um, but I'll sell them together list them together I paid 50 cents for for the two of them and I'll probably put these online for like 15 to 20 dollars for both of them um, I do have some other ones listed but they're not uh, they're in mixed condition they're more more pieces um and not quite a full nativity set either but um they look older and a little more beat up and then this is hat pin i got this at the thrift store and i do have a small collection of hat pins. This one's really pretty. It's got some gold beads and then some red beads and then these white wavy ruffle beads with gold and red in between. Really pretty. Um, this I paid two dollars for. I uh, might keep this one. That was the intention when I bought it. Uh, but I'll, I'll look it up. I think these typically sell for like 15 to 25. Just depends. It is a shorter one. It's not the real long one. So I think this is um, not Victorian. Uh, I believe that's how you date them. The longer ones are Victorian era. So this came later. Mm, but I'll look it up and see. Um, but I do have a couple of pin holder ceramic. I don't know what you call them. Pin holders? Ceramic pin holders. Um, so that was the plan was to buy this one and, and put it in my collection. But I don't, you know, I'm 
I'm trying not to keep everything, so, you know, I need to list stuff and get it sold. Uh, so this item, I got this at the thrift store. I paid six. It was probably a little too much, but, um, not too bad, but it's a silver tone owl. And it has, you know, links with these different pieces, so you get a little bit of movement out of them as you're wearing them. He has these green plastic beaded eyes. He's cute. He's a good large size. Um, you know, probably a good four or five inches. And, you know, just costume. I don't see any name on it anywhere. And these were pretty popular in the 60s and 70s. And, you know, I can probably get 18 to 26 for him. And then this is a, um, this is a shorter Lucite taper with the copper fleck. I picked this up at the vintage market with a few other items and there was no price on it. And I said, you know, I'd like to get this, but I didn't, didn't see a price. And she said, oh, you can just have it. And I said, well, let me at least give you something for it. So she said, how about a dollar? I said, okay. <laughs> but I have um, two of the longer tapers and they're not selling. Um, I'm not sure why because I thought these Lucite candles were a pretty hot commodity. Um, okay, so yeah, this one is an 8 inch, but it's just a single, so I'll add that in. Um, include that with the other two. It has the original sticker, but I can't really. San Clemente, California. can't really read that too well. Looks like San Clemente. Okay, and then um, this is a Holt Howard tray. Um, it looks orange with gold trim. And then it has some, has some crazing down here. And it's marked Holt Howard, 1963. It has just the faint gold sticker here. Now I saw one of these on auction just a few weeks ago and I think it was, you know, up to 50 bucks, but I'm gonna have to go back and look at it. I don't think it had um, like a similar crazing. So it almost looks like something hot was put in here or it sat on something hot. I don't know. But I just wanted to see if this was normal for these pieces. But otherwise, no chips and cracks. And I did pay $10.50 for this. And hopefully mine will sell for $50 as well. All right. Um, I had to stop filming for a little bit and take a break and... I'm actually starting back on a different day, so the lighting, my voice might sound a little bit different. Lighting might look a little bit different, um, but I'm going to try to get through the rest of the items. So this is an item that I picked up in Hawaii at the um, local Goodwill there, and this is the Hallmark Keepsake Red Queen Alice in Wonderland Madam Alexander Collector Series ornament. Um, I don't see a price on this, so they probably um, just charged me like two or three dollars, but um, I took it out of the box and I don't know if this plastic piece is discolored looks like it probably is but I'm not sure um, it 
but she's really cute. She's in a red dress with gold trim. And then she has like this red plasticky lace piece in the back. She has a hanger. She's got blonde hair, blue eyes. And she has a, a staff that um, looks like it's in good condition. No chips or cracks or repairs. And this is the Red Queen 1997 to 1999. So I'm assuming that this was probably originally done in 97 and maybe redone in 99. Just looking for a date on the box. Originally 1495, so. Oh yeah, handcrafted, dated 1999. Okay. So it says the Sweet Face doll appeared in the Madame Alexander Alice in Wonderland collection in 1997. Yeah, so maybe this was ish reissued in 99. Um but I don't know. I'll look up comps and see what this is selling for, but I'm thinking maybe 18 to 20 um, would be what I would expect for it. She's really cute. Um, just a nice, nice sweet face and complexion. Really good detail. Um, she is plastic it feels like pretty lightweight so you know I like I like my smalls easy to ship lightweight easy to pack I've got the original box probably won't break in shipping there's a bunch of glitter came out of that box I think for some reason because she doesn't I don't see where she has any glitter or maybe it was sand <laughs> um, okay and then also a few more items from my Hawaii trip. I did go buy um, the there's a a Ross in on the Kona side, and then there's a Ross on the Hilo side. And um, I picked these up in the Hilo store, and. Um, I thought they'd be good for Christmas. So when I found the bag that I missed um, in my last video, I knew I had these somewhere, but I found the bag and I pulled these out and I thought, oh gosh, I better get these, um, get a video and then get these photographed and listed. So this has the nice um, RLL embossing. And it's like a, a key fob wallet and it's in red leather and then it has these um, compartments for credit cards and I paid let's see this was on clearance I paid $16.99 um, it looks like it's in really good shape I don't see any yeah it still has all the the cards and everything on the inside um, it has like maybe one little indentation in the leather right here um, but I'll note that in the listing I don't I don't really think that's a big deal and I think that'll eventually over time will pop out because it probably had something just sitting on it um, 
but that I'll probably sell. I don't know, I'll have to comp them. Let's see if there's any original retail pricing on this. Yeah, so the MSRP was 85 on that. And this is just a fall red. That's what it's called. Um, so I'll probably start it out about 50 and um, see if, if it'll sell at that price range. And it comes in um, a really nice original box. It's like a black matte box with the Ralph Lauren logo. So that'd be a nice Christmas gift for somebody. And then I did also pick up this little Dooney and Bork coin purse. And it's, it's cloth, it's like a tartan plaid with black leather trim and then it has the the gold metal Dooney logo and this one I paid $16.99 also on clearance it's got a little coin pocket in the back Oh, and then this has um, key fob on the inside, so you can, you know, you can pull that out, zip it closed, and then still use it as a key fob. So probably the same thing on this one. I'll probably start this one 50 to 60, and then just kind of go from there. I did notice that these were on the um, Dooney website, and I think um, they were trying to clearance these out. So, um, you know, if there's a lot out there, it'll probably go much lower. But the coin purses and um, the wallets are pretty pricey. And this one's nice. I mean, it's nicely made. It's got the black leather piping trim all the way around and then it's um black leather with stitching it has um, two heavy duty pockets and then you've got the nice shiny brass key fob and then the brass logo and it's on you know a piece of leather that's stitched onto the cloth so these are really nicely made i have a lot of um dooney purses mostly leather I do have a couple of the um, canvas the coated canvas when I first bought was starting to buy Dooney I thought they were a different type of leather but then I quickly realized read up on them a little bit and realized that those that I bought that were a little bit cheaper they're coated canvas but um, they're great I still have them so I'll get those two listed now that I got those on video. Um, yeah, and I did get um, I did have some more stitch kits that I got um, in Hawaii at the Goodwill. And this is a Barney one and it came with a frame. Uh, let me get this out of here. So finished, <laughs> this is what it would look like. Um, I don't see a price on this. This might have been in a bag with um, some other ones, but it is opened, but you know, it's opened at the top, but it has the floss that's still 
tied up and the cloth and the instructions and the frame so I think that'll be pretty easy to pull out and photograph and I'll uh, see what these sell for um, I was not real excited about Barney but um, since it is you know, vintage at this point in time. Is there a date on this? Yeah, 1997. You know, so 26 years old already. I figured I could probably sell this for about 18 to 22, maybe 18 to 22. Um, the finished size would be f a five by seven. So I figured somebody would want to pick that up. Good memorabilia piece. Um, and then these two, yeah, these are the Little Mermaid cross stitch, and they were both um, $4.99. And this one is opened and rebagged. Um, these are Disney, they are marked Disney. This one's called Water Portrait. Design size is six by eight, and the frame size is eight by ten. Um, but when I looked these up, they were selling for pretty good money, like twenty to thirty dollars. So, um, but the the different designs were selling for different prices. So I think this one, where she's kind of looking in a mirror or it's supposed to be like a portrait um, I think this one was the higher end one so like 30 and maybe more than that and then I think it was this one and it's called seashells uh, this one was a little bit lower so maybe 20 to 25 on this one frame size is 5 by 7 oh, okay so maybe this one's smaller Which seems strange because they look like they're about the same size, but I don't know. They are put in the baggies, you know, so they've been opened, but even this one, the, the floss is still tied together. So that means that somebody didn't dig colors out, but I'll go through it and make sure that everything's in the kit. And, um just look these up and comp these and I'll get those listed so for you know a total of ten dollar investment you know I could, could be potentially making I don't know 50 50 to 60 dollars okay um, my mom did bring me, it's a glass piece, there's a local glass blower um, that's in a different town, but it's only about 45 minute drive away, so we are starting to see quite a few of these pieces in our thrift shops and so I don't know if my mom got this as a gift or if she found it in a thrift shop but it is um, signed on the bottom and it's dated 2012 Goose Bay Glass um, it's a pretty good size pitcher you know it's probably meant to be like a juice pitcher but could 
probably be used for lemonade or iced tea and it has a red and white and then a clear pulled feather design and then kind of this big thick chunky clear handle um, that's been applied afterwards so they probably blew um, the pitcher and I'm not feeling any chips no cracks no dings the handles in good solid shape um, it does have a pencil mark rough mark on the bottom so it is all hand blown so um, I'm not real <laughs> excited about trying to package and ship this but I did promise that I would get this listed for her and try to get it um, sold during the Christmas season it is really pretty the light box just isn't doing it any justice right now um, but it's kind of a deep red deep maroon with um, you know when it the glass is pulled it kind of gets to a brighter lighter red um, but it it will be fairly heavy so I will probably ship this priority um, and I'll probably take a look at this from I don't know maybe the $75 to $100 range um, and just see how it does there and I started to with my pricing I started to you know look up the comps and just leave the pricing as is and then I started to put sales on I used to sit there and constantly reduce all my prices but it just um, I think I have over 700 items in my store now and it just takes too much time so now at this point I'm just trying to run sales and it seems to be better when I do that all right Now these are little, I don't know, baking dishes. And I did get these at the <clears throat> Goodwill in town and I haven't washed these. These are really dirty, but <clears throat> I just really like the color. I only found two of them, I think. There's possibly up to four, but they're little um, baking dishes, so you can, you supposedly can do a dishwasher and microwave safe. So you can supposedly do like um, French onion soup or, you know, little mini quiches, that type of thing. But this one has um, a woodpecker, and over on the side, I think it says pick pick, you know, like it's supposed to be making the noise. And it has an orange flower and it's in this nice um, seafoam green color so it's really pretty and I believe um, so I did pay six for each one but they're really heavy duty they're I don't know like a ceramic piece and it's by this Natalie Lette I'm probably not saying that right but I believe these are anthropology pieces so these were selling I think for like $30 a piece and um, they are really dirty and greasy so I know when I clean them up they're gonna they're gonna look a lot better and then here's like a red kind of like a burnt red color rusty red um, actually I think this goes this way this one I don't like as much because the bird I think it's supposed to be a bluebird but the I don't know it just looks discontorted like the the tail I think should be going the other way not up so it looks like the It looks like the head is facing a different way than the wings and the tail 
should be. So I think it's actually supposed to sit like this and it just says blue up at the top and then it has this nice red berry on a branch. And again, um, six for these um, a piece. And I believe these probably sell for about 30 to 35. And um, pretty sure these were all listed as anthropology pieces. I think there's a total of four different colors that you can get, but again, these are really dirty, but they're they're pretty. They're um, they're like a nice cottage piece. If somebody has like cottage or grandma core and I don't see any chips or cracks on those either okay and then this piece I have had since the springtime I went to a local doll um, sale so there's a a lady that um, has a doll shop and a lot of times she'll go and run a sale I think it's usually like right around Mother's Day and so my mom and I would run out to the valley and go to this doll sale and you know I'd pick up one or two pieces because her prices were just um, really extremely high but it was just kind of fun, something that my mom and I could do together. And, you know, we were just more out window shopping more than anything. But um, this guy, he is marked limited edition art artistry dolls in porcelain and Lurie L-U-R-E-E -E. and then um, the dressed Santa had a $45.95 price on it but I paid half of that and I don't know how old he is um, he is jointed so um, he can sit so his arms move this right arm might be loose um, you know but he ha does have like a black painted boot and then this red velvet jacket and pants you know, and then he has like this faux fur hair, beard, and trim. And then he has his black belt that's kind of coming up a little high. And that might be real leather. Um, so I need to get him listed and um, the hat isn't staying on real well <laughs> you know and he's got a little pom-pom detail on his hat so I need to get him listed but I'm thinking he'll probably sell maybe in about that hundred dollar range is probably where I'll put him I'm not sure if I'm going to put him on auction or buy it now, but he doesn't look like he has any chips, cracks, or repairs. Um, I'll see if I can check out that, that arm and figure out if the arm is still attached, but um, I thought he'd be fun and I better, better get him listed for Christmas. Okay, and then um, these two items, some people may not really appreciate these too much, but I like these quite a bit. I think they're really adorable, um, but they are 
a, like a black Americana tea towel. And these do look truly vintage. So they're hand stitched. These are not anything that my mom did, um, but they look hand stitched on linen tea towel. And then they have this, um, I don't know, this looks like a 40s or 50s trim. And I did pay six and there's two. There's one in this bag um, that I paid six for. And then there's um, a little boy and I paid eight for this one. And um, I will list these. And this one again does look really vintage. It's linen with a yellow piping. Um, you know, and then even that looks like a piece of vintage fabric. And um, but these, I really do like these, and they typically will sell very well for me. Um, The little girl looks like she's doing laundry because she has um, some shorts and some socks up on a, on a laundry line. And then this looks like a wash bucket or a basket in green. So those I think are really cute. And as long as eBay doesn't tell me to take them down, I think they'll, they'll sell fairly well. And then... This will be the last item. My mom did my mom did do some new towels. Um, this is a set of seven. Um, she does all these by hand. Um, and she does make sure that they're all washed and um, steamed out. Um, so this is a wine country set. So this one has green grapes with maybe like, I don't know, some type of red wine, Merlot. That one says wine country. Then she has a Pinot Noir, Noir, however you say that. And she does all these in um, multi-colors, multi-stitches. And then um, she typically will use like a Aunt Martha iron-on transfer. And then a lot of times she'll add to the piece. Like maybe this piece didn't have the grapes on it. So she would add to it or something like that. This is a Chardonnay with a little chunk of cheese and some grapes and a wine glass. And this next one is Chianti. And it has a pinkish reddish rose with some purple grapes. And a nice um, Greek key design on the vase with a little glass, glass of wine. So she does really well with these. We usually sell these for about 70. Some of her sets will go up to 120. This is a Merlot. And I think she said on this one, she added the little crackers, if I remember correctly, or the, the label. Maybe she added the label on this one because it was just a plain wine bottle. So. Um, this one is Cabernet. It's got the little corkscrew, grapes, chunk of cheese again, wine bottle, wine glass, green apple. You know, so I could see where somebody um, in wine country, maybe like Napa, Napa Valley would want these. Um, and then this last one is a Shiraz if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Again, chunk of cheese on a cutting board or a charcuterie board with um, a couple glasses of 
wine, a couple bottles of wine, some green ivy, and a um, little loaf of bread, and the knife, you know, the knife stuck into the cheese. So these are really cute. So I'll get these um, photographed and get these listed. She just sold, um, I also have some aprons on my site, and there's my little pup. She probably needs to go outside. But the, um, the aprons that my mom made, she made those last year and I list them last Christmas and I didn't sell a single one. And then finally, um, this year, the first one sold, it was an M&M apron and they all come with a matching um, oven mitt and dish towel. So, and the M&M one was a double-sided, so some of them are double-sided, some of them aren't, and um, most of them, if not all of them, have pockets, and they're really cute. And they're all handmade by my mom, um, you know, and I think the M&M one sold for about $70, and then I've got um, some other ones that are listed anywhere from like 70 and maybe even a smaller one just like a, a waist half apron that was like 45 or 50 and then I think they go all the way up to like 80 and I think that's about as high as they go so um, check those out on my store and um, hope you enjoyed the video and please like comment and subscribe thank you